Welcome back to Tux Explorer. I'm a tiny potato, and today I'm going to be playing Star Ocean The Divine Force. This just came out today on Steam. It was available for people on consoles yesterday, but we had to wait a little bit, and then we had to wait a little bit more because I was under the impression the release time was 10 a.m. my time, and it ended up being 11. And then when I went to hit play, it decided it needed to unpack a lot. Which is fine. I just, I feel like sometimes with preloaded stuff, it installs so that when it launches, you're just ready to go. But this definitely, this took, this took a while. <laughs> this, this was a long process. Okay. Many, many years later, the preload is done, and now it's updating. Okay. Okay. Okay, now there's a green play button. Now we can actually launch it. I am just going to try to launch it straight out of the box, not do anything to it. We're installing Microsoft DirectX. Um, I've got my performance display up so that we can keep an eye on things, see how it's going. Okay, it seems like we are actually just going to be able to load this. Got a nice auto save. Set my brightness. It looks very pretty. Uh, I like that. On performance, image quality or frame. I picked image quality because I'm an idiot. It's very pretty though. <sighs> Crash, crash. Anyway, I won't make you sit through the whole cutscene. You should just, what, play the game if you want to see it. I'm definitely selecting her because she's adorable and I like her braids and definitely setting it to the lowest possible. Yeah, good choice if you have trouble playing action games. What's the good choice if you have trouble existing? This is, uh, this is taking a substantial amount of time. Oh. 2 FP oh frozen. Okay. Okay, so maybe maybe not going to be flawless. <laughs> I had really high hopes. That opening video was really pretty. Oh no. Okay, let's uh let's see if if it comes back. Okay, well, we have twenty-four frames. Hey, there it is. Ugh, yeah, it's already stuttering. I don't know if that's just like Vulcan shaders not being preloaded, but with all of that unpacking stuff, they couldn't have done anything to uh, actually have a good, <laughs> like, initial impression. It's not great when your, like, fourth frame is just like. Bleh. Oh man. Okay, I will I will give it a shot. I'm going to keep going. Actually see what happens when we start running around. You are falling behind. Yeah, this this is not great. What in the world was that? Okay, so I think I'm going to just exit already and try to run it with Proton Experimental. And uh, switch to experimental and see if we can get some better performance. I still haven't actually messed with the game settings, so everything's probably running on high. But I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation <laughs> for this game. Um, I would hope that the Steam Deck would be able to play it on max settings. But, you know, we shall see. 
We'll see if Experimental does anything. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up where I left so, off. Doom, huh? We are heading towards the ruins, and this is once again no playing with any settings, just changing it to experimental and see if we can do anything. Uh, it's, yeah, okay. it's definitely still stuttering. I mean, it's... <laughs> it feels better? That was not a good example of it feeling better, though. Oh man. Called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Okay. Has it been since this so I think it's visitors. time to Traverse actually knock down it. some graphic settings. If I know how to use a menu. Oh man. Okay. Graphics. Okay. So I had turned everything to normal, and I'm going to turn down model LOD and background quality and I know I should probably uh, restart the game but I want to try to get to the ruins and hopefully get a different save point. Okay so I am bailing back out of Star Ocean and I'm relaunching with Proton Experimental and the uh, graphics changes that I just made hopefully kind of kick them into gear. The other thing I realized is that um, you can turn on preloaded textures. So I'm wondering if I do that, somehow it'll make a difference. Or if it's just going to like hang up forever trying to uh, load textures. Who knows? So this is Madoom, huh? Okay, now it does actually seem to be performing better. Because I wasn't even getting a solid 30 earlier, so I know limiting my frame rate didn't really do anything, but at least it's a different number to look at. Yeah. It's at least not garbage trash. Okay, yeah, this feels, this feels a lot better. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Long has it been since this place received visitors. Traversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Ugh. Okay, better but not perfect. I've got one last setting that I want to try. See if see if I can get a little bit closer. Personally, I think it's playable. It seemed fine. Like, yeah, it stutters. But I think that's just a time thing for uh, Proton and people to kind of catch up. And also the shaders. Okay, so pre-compiled shaders. I'm going to turn that on. Shaders will be recompiled upon re return to title screen. So I'm going to return to title screen, but nothing happens. So I don't actually know if that did anything. Um, I'm going to turn off the uh, frame rate cap. So this is Madun, huh? Just just for curiosity's sake. And we are Ancient back at Madun. Hopefully we will get somewhere further this time. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. I can see why they're called ruins. It does Okay, so I'm not gonna say it's running perfectly now, but it's definitely Prepare not as bad as it was bad. earlier. It's not stuttering nearly as bad. The frame rate is still Hanging around the 30s, but you know, it's not massively pausing anytime I look it too much. So that's that's something. We're gonna just keep just keep climbing these stairs. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Da, 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 da. Man, I hated running stairs. I was the worst. I just no. Never again. I will never run first run stairs unless I am going to die if I don't if if someone's chasing me, 
If a murderer is chasing me, maybe you could get me to run stairs, but more than likely I would just run up a few and then try to fall on them or something. Detecting escape pod signal above current. Awesome. Okay, so we're actually entering the ruins and making some progress in the game we because what are save ruins. points? Right. Let's keep going. Overall, it's it's definitely performing a lot better with Proton Experimental and my little graphic settings changes. I'm sure there's a lot more finagling that needs to be done, but at least at least it's playable and I am excited uh, to keep already. playing Star Ocean. Leave us a comment below well, of what games I should play next because I have in. not played anything ever. This is something new. And subscribe for something more wonderful Steam Deck content. <laughs>